ایسی نعمت ملی ہے تو پھر آخرت میں اور کیا ہی کہنے ہیں کوئی پیغام دے دے پورے یوکے کو یوروپ کو خواتین کے لئے کیا میسیج ہے انگریزی میں وہ اچھا بھی ہے جی جی اوبیسلی ایوریون ہوز واشنگ می یو نو آئی پریچ وڈ آئی پریکٹس اور آئی بلیو ان practicing first and then preaching because that is exactly how I, that's how I feel because that's what my husband told me that's what my father-in-law told me that you know if you want to tell someone to pray two rakat of nafil make sure that at least you pray four the minimum or six or ten and that is when Allah will put weight in your dawa when you'll talk to people people will listen because sometimes we all talk but it's just it's just going over our head but if you want to touch people's heart make sure that your connection with Allah is, is very, very powerful. So one thing that I tell people is that do not lose hope. Allah listens every single dua of everybody. Even na farma bardaro ki dua Allah sunta hai, which is His mercy. That is why we call Him Rahim and Kareem. But make sure that if Allah has given us so many things and an opportunity to live, so make sure that you please Allah because eventually to Him is our return. Do not forget that one day we have to die, we have to get into our graves, there will be, day, there will be a day of judgment and it doesn't matter what you think. When Quran says something, that's the end of it. It will not change, society can become more modern, people around will get even more modern, everything will change. But Allah's words are not going to change till the day of Qiyamah. So make sure that you please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it's impossible to please people and aap jitne people pleaser banoge, utna hi you are going to fall back. So make sure that you know, you are, uh, you know, you are pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most and that is where your actual success is. Try, you know, to work out with your namaz. Make sure because that's the only connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's when you are talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Try to recite, do the, recite Quran because that's when Allah talks to you. Try and read at least a kya do ayat or a ruku if possible with translation. Because for people like us, just ke liye, Arbi is not our first language. It's, it's not about just reciting the Quran. It's about understanding what is the purpose of Quran? And when they say, what is Quran? Quran is a way of life. So if you are not translating and understanding the meaning of Quran, it's going to be very difficult for you to understand what kind of life you're supposed to lead. So make sure that these things are on time. Pray on time. Because when you pray late, aapka wo tick mark to ho jata hai. Okay, that you've prayed. But every namaz comes with a certain barakat. That happens only when you pray on time. So make sure that you do that. Make sure that you have tawakkul. That is the most important thing. Because I know times, things are going to get difficult. You will think that there is nobody for you. But no, sometimes your parents are not going to be there for you, your spouses are not going to be there for you, your children will not be there for you, your best friends are not going to be there for you, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always and always with you. Like, you know, sometimes when I cry a lot, I cry a lot, I think, you know, oh my God, my husband must be bored of seeing me crying. But when I pray namaz and I cry, I was like, 